Since emerging around 2002, the Boko Haram Islamist insurgency in Nigeria and bordering areas has developed into one of the world's most brutal conflicts. At least 20,000 people have been killed and some 2.6 million displaced. Self-educated preacher Muhammad Yusuf founded the group in northeastern Borno State, calling on Muslims to reject the state and regard Western science and modern literature as apostasy. The conflict is concentrated in the northeast because Nigeria's population is split evenly between Christians mostly in the south and Muslims in the north. After Yusuf's death during a 2009 uprising that killed some 700 people, fiery preacher Abu Bakr Shikau emerged as a more extreme leader. Fighters rampaged through towns and villages, seizing territory to create a new caliphate and slaughtering people as they did so. Initially called Nigerian Taliban, the group gradually became known as Boko Haram, meaning Western education is a sin. In 2014, they kidnapped 276 female students from their boarding school in Chibuk, striking while the girls were asleep. The fate of many of the girls is still unknown. In 2015, Boko Haram declared allegiance to the Islamic State group. The same year, a multinational force of Nigeria, Niger, Chad and Cameroon collaborated ad hoc to oust the group as they began more cross-border attacks. Good luck, Jonathan, president from 2010 to 2015 and from Nigeria's south, was criticised for doing too little until his re-election was in doubt. His successor, Mohamedou Buhari, has cooperated more with neighbouring countries, but his claim Nigeria has won a technical victory may prove premature. In 2016, the Islamic State group announced a new leader for Boko Haram to replace Abu Bakr Shikau. But Shikau insisted he was still in charge, plunging the Islamist group into a leadership struggle. Militants maintain control of some villages and the circumstances that gave rise to Boko Haram remain. Nigeria's incredible corruption, poverty, lack of development and disparity between North and South.